to a very autumnal video. I hope you're excited and feeling as autumnal as myself because pumpkin lover, candles that smell like autumn, decorations that are just scream cozy vibes. Like this is the place to be if you are into autumn because basically if you are into September, October, November and December this is the place to be guys or girls because those are the fa my favourite months of the year and every video is going to be so exciting from this moment onwards. So let me tell you. So first things first, this is literally the start of my autumn content. It all officially starts on Wednesday so I will be back to my Wednesday and Sunday uploads every single week throughout autumn all the way through to Christmas. I haven't decided if I'm doing vlogmas yet but that's a different situation but yeah just so that you know make sure you've subscribed and got your notification bell on because as soon as I upload a Wednesday and a Sunday you get notified <sighs> it's good to be back so anyway if you haven't already make sure you've got your hot chocolates you're snuggled up on the sofa with your favorite blanket and let's get into all of the home autumn decor I have got ready for my home this year. So first things first, I will let you know where I get everything from, but some of the things that I have got are things that I've collected from over the years. So I highly recommend if you love autumn and Christmas and even Easter, if you're gonna decorate your home, just start off small and just keep adding to it every year, just little and often, just so that you don't break the bank on your first, you know, like your first year of owning a home or renting a home and going full force with it. Um, it's definitely something you can just add to the collection and your collection just gets bigger and bigger every year. Speaking of which, so obviously this video is just me showing you everything that I've got ready for autumn this year. Um, something that I've got from last year are leftover orange sponges. Now these just look really nice, kind of like displayed out on the side on the kitchen and obviously you can use them around autumn time. It's just obviously to tie in that autumn kind of colour in. Um, and these are like the scour pads. Um, so I've got four here. Um, you can get them from like any home bargains, B&M store, pound stretchers, all those kind of places. They're just like the abrasive sponges that you can like clean with and obviously get like hard stains off of pans and baking trays and things like that. Um, so they do come in super super handy and like I said I've still got these left over from last year so even if I don't use all of them this year I can keep them for next year as well. And also I do have like a fake minky which is grey on one side and orange on the other. Um, these are great for like cleaning the bathroom and things like that so it just kind of makes you feel really autumnal even when you're having to do your chores you know. So if you I actually saved from last year um, because I didn't use it is the pumpkin shaped scrub daddy. Um, now I did also get the reindeer um, shaped scrub daddy for Christmas and that was white. Um, I did take that one out of the packaging and I just kind of like sat it at the top of my sink and it just looked really really cute. So I am going to take this one out of the packaging this year and just leave it near the sink. Um, probably not use it just because I think it's really cute and I don't want to use it. Um, but they are supposed to be really good for cleaning with. It's scratch free, they're dishwasher safe so you can put them in the dishwasher to clean them. Um, and it also shows how it cleans cutlery with the mouth, which I think is quite funny, really. Um, but yeah, I think I picked this up from B&M last year. Now, a very new purchase that isn't cleaning related um, that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a really long time, but I just kind of thought it wasn't an essential. But now this year, I've kind of thought it's definitely, I just need it, I need it in my life. Um, so I found this little company on Etsy, so supporting local, and it is called Willow Cabin Designs. Um, I will tag them in the description box below for you so you can find them. They're also on Instagram as well. Um, but she makes the cutest mugs. I don't know if this is backwards to you guys or if it's reading the right way round, but it says sweater weather. Um, it's obviously why it's in that like camping style um, sort of mug that I would say. It is quite small. You would definitely get a nice hot chocolate with like cream and marshmallows coming out the top. 
I just think that's going to be so nice. You know, when you just sat on the sofa with your fluffy socks on, your blanket, hugging up to your hot chocolate, and it just says sweater weather on it. It just reminds you how amazing this time of year is. So yeah, I absolutely love that. She also did loads of other designs. There was ones that was like Hocus Pocus. There was one with pumpkins on. Um, and loads and loads of things like that. So yes, highly recommend just for the simple joy of drinking out of a autumn sounding mug. <laughs> okay, and to go with that, I also found this in TK Maxx literally last weekend um, when I went in and it is a pumpkin caramel syrup, which is from the Jordan's Skinny Syrups range. So I think it's zero calories and I just thought pumpkin caramel like that sounds delicious and even looking at the picture on the front of it it was like a pumpkin pie with like a latte next to it oh just looks amazing so yeah I can't wait to use my new mug and my syrup and be living my best autumn life you know this was only $3.99 from TK Maxx as well you can also get them from HomeSense they had loads of different flavours in the TK Maxx so it was just ones that simple pumpkin spice ones and just like honestly so many you need to go there if you are a syrup lover obviously you can put this on top of anything it doesn't have to just go into your coffees and it usually gives you um like instructions of like ingredients and things you can make on the back as well okay now you may have seen this already if you have been around and seen my home sense and tk max hauls recently um but this is one of the gray new pumpkins that i got this year this one was 5.99 it's like a soft fabric with like a weighted design texture feel um, and then it's got a plastic stalk on the top and then it's got um really like shiny ribbon that kind of goes down the um indents of the pumpkin um i really really like this one this one is probably going to go in the living room because that is the most graced room of this house and i've got another pumpkin which i'll show you just now um, which I'm going to sit this near. So last year I actually purchased this one and it is just a plastic old looking pumpkin but I think actually from a distance you could quite mistake it and make it think that it looks glass. It's actually from Morrison's. Um, it's an absolute bargain. It does also light up um, if you can see but I mean the colour is like blue. Oh going fast. I'm just going to turn that off. So I basically don't turn the lights on because if you know my aesthetic is basically like anything white, cream, beige, grey, silver and maybe a little bit of gold thrown in there. Um, so yeah those colours kind of don't go with my theme but I thought this was a really really good pumpkin from Morrison so definitely don't rule out the supermarkets when you're looking for autumn decor. Um, I don't think it was even that expensive either. I absolutely love this one so I am going to somehow put these two next to each other or behind each other um, in the living room because I just think the two different textures and fabrics will work really well together. And then the pumpkin of dreams that I got this year, so again you'll have probably seen this one recently, is this little ceramic pumpkin um, with a gold stalk on the top and then inside is a three wick candle which oh my god it smells amazing, it smells like a mixture of autumn and Christmas together it makes me so excited this was 9.99 i absolutely love it it's one of my favorites it's going to be in my life literally forever um so this is what i mean by stocking up and just getting some little bits every year just so that you can add to your collection and this is just a dream honestly it is the best one by far and that one i did actually pick up from tk maxx but in the home sense they had a flatter larger version of it which was 25 pound which i do wish i'd got now because i just think how nice would it look next to each other but never mind it's gone now okay so a lot of the next bits i'm going to show you are ones that i've already shown in my home sense and tk maxx haul literally a couple of weeks ago so i will link that down below if you haven't watched it already just in case you want any of the price points or anything like that um but i got these two really cute pumpkins which after i um as i was filming at the hall i actually realized they had potpourri in the middle of them and they're in the scent of pumpkin marshmallow latte latte they smell incredible but just i just love how cute little they're obviously a ceramic kind of white 
and they've got silver little stalks on the top. I absolutely love these. Next up is my new autumn best friend. He's probably looking out at the trees at his real life squirrel family and friends and wishing he was out there with them. But he's here with me. He is just like a little gold, real life looking, if you know what I mean, where it's got like the texture of the hair. Like, I just love this guy. He's eating like a little acorn. Honestly, he is the best thing ever. You'll have seen this in my recent one, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but he is my best friend, and he will be in my autumn home decor for life, for sure. Another one, which is a very new purchase, is my gorgeous little glass pumpkin. This one is amazing. Someone actually commented, ooh, someone actually commented on my um, video saying that they were looking for one so that they could put fairy lights in them, and I think that's such a good idea. I'm going to put some sort of like mint imperials or some sort of like Halloween sweet um, in here so that we can have them in the porch and they're just there for when people walk in mainly me and brad like because of everything that's been going on but yeah um i just think this is like the best the best pumpkin i know i say that about them all i love them all for all different reasons but this one is just like really classy because it's glass and it's got a lid and yeah you could also use this to like store your um jewelry in and things like that especially throughout the autumn months because it's obviously pumpkin shaped um i suppose you could also use it in the kitchen and have some salt in there so that you can just then pick it out and spritz it over your food when you're cooking there's so many different possibilities that you could use this for um so it's super useful and i'll probably use it as different things each year so just to change it up a bit you know hey maybe i went a little bit wild when i was doing my little and often this year i obviously went bigger this year than recent years here is another little gray pumpkin with a gold stalk on it this time this one is in like a really nice um like soft fabric to touch but is a hard pumpkin itself really nice small to medium size I'm not entirely sure where this one's gonna go yet but add into the pumpkin collection as always again you'll have seen this one in my recent video so i'm not gonna talk too much about it one of my favorite 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 candles at this time of year is the vanilla pumpkin from dw home dw home make the most amazing candles ever you just need to get your hands on them they did on the tk maxx website they did sell this on there a couple of weeks ago um so keep an eye out on the website if you can't get to a tk maxx or a home sense you can actually order online but they're very like they'll all add things to the website every single day and things do sell out really really quick so make sure that you check it like every morning and every lunchtime just in case they add things on like later in the day um but yeah this vanilla pumpkin oh my god i'm so excited to get this lit on the first of september this is just it's just what you need in your life that's just full stop okay these were also in one of my recent hauls these are a trio of white pumpkins which are actually candles again i didn't realize until in fact i didn't realize until i was editing the video that they're candles because they actually have candle um wicks on the top of like the stalk i'm obviously not going to light them i'm probably just going to leave them as a three together and just use them as white pumpkins really really like these these were 6.99 from home sense again in my recent video now i know i've said this about five times already but the pumpkin i'm about to show you is one of my favorites and the reason this one will forever forever be my favorite is because it was the first ever pumpkin i bought from home sense and i honestly think I hit jackpot gold on the day that I walked in and got this because I don't um, usually work around where I live and um, so I'm able to usually travel to other TK Maxx's and home sense which I'm really lucky to be able to do especially at this time of year and Christmas so this was at one that, that isn't anywhere near me so that's probably why I haven't got anything similar this year or last year this was a purchase way back in either 2018 or 2019 I can't remember but don't let me years seem like absolutely forever ago with everything that's happened but you'll see why this is my favorite in a second as well as it being the first ever pumpkin it's like your first child um I mean 
shall we all just take a moment? If you've been around before and been on my Instagram homepage, you'll have probably seen this one before. Um, so it is a ceramic with like a, I don't know what to say that that is. It's like, looks like it's a worn effect. It's like a really off-white creamy colour. I love it. And obviously it's got a squirrel on the top. So this pumpkin being my first ever purchase, I think I literally walked into the Home Sense and this was on the shelf and I was like, stop everything i've got to grab it and yeah he's been part of my life ever since i've got a really good idea for him in a, um for this year which i'm gonna need to show you him again when i show you what i mean so let me show you the other things first and then we'll go back to this guy sorry my dears if i look at it, like i've changed position i have just moved slightly because my back is killing me i don't know what is wrong with me at the minute my back always hurts um right the next purchase I'm going to show you is basically like a two in one -er. I'll show you the bowl first. This is actually one that I got last year from Home Bargains. I can tell by the sticker. It was only a pound. It's really plastic, but it's um grey, a really light grey. It says trick or treat on it. It's got some ghosts on it and some stars and some moons. It's really, really cute. I got it for the trick or treaters to put like sweets and stuff like that in it. <sighs> Obviously not realising. Last year obviously was a lot of coronavirus going around so there was very minimal trick-or-treaters in fact we had none zilch nada so i've saved it again for this year it's only a pound guys so it'll save and i can clean it down put some sweets in it and try again and if nobody comes then me and brad get to eat a whole bowl full of sweets sure i have to &M will bring more of these out I think B&M have actually gone crazy and put Christmas stuff out already. So I'm expecting the like Halloween stuff to come in over the next couple of weeks. Um, because they do usually have a really good selection and they do like pumpkins and obviously the bowls and um, costumes and things like that. I'm a bit confused why they've jumped straight to Christmas, but anyway. Then next up, inside this bowl, just because I keep them in here for like safekeeping, um, are all these little mini white pumpkin um, that I got from Amazon last year. So they've got like a green stalk on the top of them and they're just white pumpkins. And they are quite like cheap looking when you look at them a bit close up. Um, let me try and find one. Like, they've got They've got like random marks on them. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but they've got like random marks on it. This one's a little stalk has fallen off. So my plan was to spray paint them white so that they were just completely white. And then to also paint the stalks like a brown colour. I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I am actually on annual leave as we speak. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get them done at some point this week. Um, because I am decorating for autumn on the 1st of September. So that's what that's what we're doing okay yeah i will try and find the link to these if you just search in amazon small white pumpkins they will come up um there's ones that you can buy at the minute and um, the last time i went on amazon where they're like white some are white some are orange and some are like a brown and um, they look really really nice so yeah you can kind of shop around on amazon but i will try and find the link and link these for you down below now another purchase from last year which does actually need a clean so i'm going to be careful where i put this because obviously i'm sat on my bed um but is our hey the pumpkin welcome mats i don't know if these are still available i bought it from the shop that's called i want one of those um but it's called like i w o o t you can find them on instagram and um, they sell loads of loads of cheap decorations i think they're very like american inspired so very much like a home sense but more of an online version and they sell so many nice stuff they sell lots of autumn mugs and things like that i'll put a little snip of their website over on the screen now so that you can have a look but they do like doormats they do tote bags they do all sorts i've been looking as you can tell on their website for quite a few weeks now and um, i didn't actually purchase anything in particular this year because i knew i had this little mat which i absolutely love like 
it's one of my favorite um i have also bought something else to go underneath this for this year so i'm going to show you that in a second but if i can find this on the website then of course i will link it down below for you okay now i have actually received a massive order from amazon today hence why i'm filming this video because i was like i can finally show everybody um but i have just remembered there are two other pumpkins that i've recently ordered off the tk maxx website um but i haven't been able to get over to a tk the tk max yet to go and collect it i will show you that in my first of september vlog because i'll be able to go and pick it up then um so yeah then i can show you them but i have actually posted them on my instagram before and i think one of them is the white candle with um the white pumpkin with the lid and the candle inside i'm pretty sure i ordered another one of those so but let me tell you this amazon parcel it came through guys like you know sometimes you order some things from amazon and you're like not exactly what i thought it was gonna be well let me tell you this one it hits different it's a good one you're gonna you're gonna be impressed okay so first things first i had to i had to add to the collection of the cookie cutters um so i got this one which is, is a pumpkin shaped cookie cutter and i just think like it's actually a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be but just think it's more cookie for the pumpkin you know um so yeah i've got some really really good ideas of what i'm going to be doing and like what recipes i can use i've saved loads and loads and loads you need to go onto pinterest if you haven't already to get all of your baking recipes and also jane's patisserie absolutely amazing she's also bought out a book this week and she was on this morning um she's just amazing i do all of her like brownies and things like that and also the bacon explorer who is on instagram as well those two girls are amazing at recipes and i highly recommend both of them i'm going to be making some pumpkin shaped cookies on my first of september vlog and i cannot wait it's going to be so exciting um i can't remember off the top of my head how much everything was from amazon so i will link them all below so you can have a look for yourself if you are interested in anything okay the next thing i got which you might think doesn't look very autumnal but is just this little wow wow round woven tray with these like little handles on i did think this would be bigger so that was a little bit of a fail but what i'm hoping to do is this pumpkin yes it fits with like a little bit of room around the sides um so yeah i was going to put this pumpkin on this tray and then it can sit in the middle of my dining table and then i also bought these little pack of maple leaves which have loads of different colors it does sound the back to be careful of these with children so if you do have children then maybe be careful with where you put these um but just so you can see them i'll take some of them out of the pack they're basically just faux leaves that look like autumn leaves off the trees they come in different colors so these are probably like your more brown color with a little bit of red on the edges then it goes to a very extreme red color as you can see there and then it goes to this color where it's got red yellow and green and then it goes to like an all yellow color so it's kind of like fades into one color into another into another um i think the main ones that i'm going to be using if you haven't guessed already are probably the more brownie colored ones just because i think they'll go with most of my like decor and things um but i did think that these will be really cute to like lay around the bath board um and things like that my thinking in terms of this is to have the leaves i'm not going to be able to do it right now but have the leaves like dotted I don't know if you can even see that have the leaves dotted like around the edges just so it like blends it in a bit better and then when the pumpkin's in the middle all you'll be able to see is like the leaves draped over the edge and then the pumpkin in the middle does that make sense hopefully i'll be able to show you it a lot better um in my first of september vlog and hopefully it looks how i'm imagining it looks in my head but yeah you basically get a hundred of these leaves and they come really cutely um like compact and easy to like put away and like store for the next year um so yeah if you're 
creating your new little autumn collection i highly recommend these and this tray for just like anything just as like a little tray of little white pumpkins as well i think looks really really cute so yeah you could kind of style this any way you want and any way you want um but yeah i really like this and i just like the idea of i can get it i can move it out the way so i can if it's in the way when we're having dinner with um family or friends or anything i can move it out the way as well um or if i just wanted to move it to a different place in the house i can do that too okay now my next purchase from amazon so if you were around in christmas last year i bought a red and black um what's the word for it like tartan no Hmm. I don't know how to explain it but doormat to go underneath another Christmassy doormat and it just made it look extra Christmassy because of the red um so when I was browsing I kind of thought well I know I have my hey there pumpkin mat which is just down here I'm looking at it um so I was like what could I get to go underneath that just to make it pop out a little bit more and I thought I could get the black and white version of the red and white version or the red and black version that I've got for Christmas but for autumn so I did I got it it is absolutely massive um so I'll be able to have this on the bottom and then put my hey there pumpkin on the top let me just try and see if I can show you that now okay so this is what I mean sorry it is on the bed it's not very easy for me to show you this um, but yeah, so you've got extra all the way around it with the black and the white and then you've got Hey There Pumpkin sat in the middle. I absolutely love it. It looks really, really nice like this. Um, so yeah, can't wait to put that down. Um, and like I said, I've got the red and white version of this for Christmas just because it makes um, whatever matte um, that you've got to like actually walk on and has like a saying on it. It just makes it look extra Christmassy and it really pops it out if you know what I mean. I am going to do for our next home, whenever that is, we're obviously not going to be moving at any point we think by the end of this year so um i am going to keep everything that i've got obviously map wise now i'll be able to use the hey there pumpkin at another door in our new house um but i will be able to use this with one of those you know the brown mats which are like rough one of those which then says the hey there pumpkin or something autumnal on it and then have this underneath i think that'll look really really nice especially because i'm going for like a more beigey effect and also get this in like a beige color um so like a brown and white color um so that might even look just as nice with the brown rough matte on it um i don't know we'll see to go um with the mats i did actually get these as well so they're just called rub rug grippers um i will show you a picture on them just so i don't have to open these now they basically just stick to the bottom of the doormat and then stick to the floor just so that there's no moving about and you just use um a couple of them on either corner of the the doormat and it just honestly they're really really good we used these for christmas last year and it stopped both of the mats moving around and i think because you have a mat on top of a mat sometimes one of the mats comes loose but with these they were really good really sturdy kept everything in place so i do highly recommend these then another random purchase that i got mainly because i light a lot of candles throughout the autumn winter so i actually got myself a little candle maintenance kit um, so you get it as a three piece so I've actually gone for this set in a matte black I just thought this would look really nice against all of the white that I have in our house and you get the wick trimmer scissors um, which look like this you also get a I think this is called a snuffer but you basically hold this over the flame and it puts the candle out I guess it doesn't then damage the candle or the wax or anything like that and then this I am not entirely sure what it is so if someone could let me know what this is as part of a candle maintenance set please do let me know um but I think I just absolutely love the colour of this, the matte black. I didn't think I would ever go for anything matte black because I'm very white and beige and even silver. But when I saw the matte black version of this, I thought 
I've just got to get it and I'm so glad I did I really really like it and like I said against all of the white that we've got in the house I think this will look really really nice and I'm obviously going to get a lot of use for it because I have so many candles dotted around everywhere okay now <laughs> I think I hit the Amazon Autumn home decor jackpot here because you know all of like the autumn wreaths now a lot of them are very orangey quite expensive especially on Amazon if you're not from the UK I know I have a lot of um people from America and Australia watching my channel as well so hello if you're from any of those places thank you so much for watching um, but you guys probably don't understand the struggle we have of trying to find nice autumn decor pieces which you're probably thinking that that's maybe why I've made a video on it um, but when I when I ordered this I thought it's got to be a joke like it can't be that cheap that nice and it's going to arrive and be like tiny or it's not going to be anything like the picture to me it looks exactly like the picture it's the perfect size and i cannot believe that this is actually happening okay so i haven't actually unraveled it yet but this is the wreath of dreams is it not i don't know if you can probably see it let me let me take it out of the bag first thing it actually comes with its own little door hook so you don't even have to invest any extra money to put the bloody thing up on your door because it comes with it i'm hoping like the depth of that is big enough i feel like it isn't i hope it is like you you get the utensil i'm gonna call it to put reef up so you don't even have to spend any more money secondly it's led so it's got its own lights that you can wrap around it and you just put batteries in like is there anything better so you can choose not to use them if you don't want to use the lights i think is genius now i'm sorry but have i hit autumn jackpot or have i hit autumn jackpot like how amazing is that so it's obviously very browny, very goldy, it's got pumpkins on it, it's got acorny um, looking like faux acorns on it, it's got um, pine cones. I am just a little bit obsessed with this. Um, <laughs> honestly I can't believe it. So obviously you would just hang it up like so on the door. Uh, uh, the door was a 2012 movie directed by Isfahan Sabo. Who invited her to the party? I'm just honestly, I'm absolutely shook that this exists. So I am going to link it down below girls but I am sure it is going to be an absolute sellout like really quick. So if you want an autumn wreath. I think it said that it was indoors only, which obviously is why, because it's got the um, LED lights that you can attach to it. But it's something that you can literally pack away and reuse every single year. I love it. And it's like, it's not falling to pieces. It's all intact. I'll show you it from the other way. It's like, it looks like a bird's nest, if you know what I mean. Um, you can obviously make your own from and get the pieces to make it from Amazon or like Hobbycraft or somewhere. But when I was adding the things to my basket to make it myself, it was coming out around the same price as this. And I really loved this. So I was just like, I'm going to get this and have no hassle with having to put something together. And yeah, I think it's really sturdy. And obviously if things do start to fall off, you could just glue gun things back on it. For the price anyway and because i'm going to be using it every single year i absolutely love it <laughs> so my loves that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video it is basically like a mix match a mismatch mix match mismatch mismatch of autumn haul autumn home haul slash all my autumn home decor pieces that i've got for 2021 so god knows what i'm going to title this video hopefully it makes sense for you to click on it and watch it and if you've made it all the way to the end thank you so much my gorgeous angels i love you all 
so so much and like i said i will be back on wednesday with my first full vlog of decorating the house baking everything autumnal you could possibly think of it's coming on wednesday the first of september and i will continue my wednesday and sunday uploads from that moment onwards so welcome to the autumnal family please don't give me any hate for loving autumn as much as i do because it brings me so much joy we don't get to have as much fun anymore i feel with like everything going on so let me have this you know and if you're part of the autumnal craziness then make sure you follow me over on instagram and also on my home account which is linked in my bio on my instagram because best believe I'm going to be sharing all of this stuff when it's put up around my home over on Instagram as well. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy your bank holiday weekend. Make sure you enjoy the what's left of the rest of it. And I'll see you on Wednesday.